Okay, so this is our compost worm tower, and it's ready for a new uh, section, a new shelf in it, so we're going to film how that's going to go. I'm going to take this off. This is uh, getting pretty rich now. Actually, the tomatoes are sprouting in here. <laughs> But compost worms are in here. Lots of them. They've been breeding and making lots of baby worms. And some of them are pretty young. They've been in here two months, breaking everything down for me. And turning a nice dark rich soil. So I'm going to use for my garden. But, we want to take some paper. You're just going to entice them to uh, work their way up into the new working tower. It's okay if there's some food left in here. They're going to work on that. And it's okay to take some of their old soil and throw it in. Get them used to it. And just add some of their old soil in here. Just so they uh, see it as home. There you go. Take some new soil and add to it. This new soil is a little dry, but I'll spray it. When you do moisten your soil, you just want a little bit moisture. You don't want it dripping. Otherwise, the uh, worms aren't going to be too happy. Put some of that old soil there. And just spray it. Whoops. Well, moisten it down just a little bit, not too much. Just comfortable for them. And that is the new working tray. And then from here, we want to add it in like this. And then from then on, you're going to add your, your food waste into this bin. And they're going to migrate from the bottom bin into the working bin. And then their, waste, their casings are going to continue on in there. And eventually you'll have just pure worm casings. and worm tea.
This here is about a week's worth of worm tea. I get more when it rains, but it hasn't rained in the last couple of weeks, so this is about a week's worth of uh, worm tea. And I just store that in a uh, empty jug and collect it over time for my garden. There you have it. That is how you add a new tower to your worm tower.